Hey, it's Scottish here, and welcome back for some more Final Fantasy VII. Let's go. Hello. So, if you remember, last time we collected the second of the huge materials from Fort Condor, and then Sid had the nice idea to go and visit our pals Tifa and Cloud in Medeal, just to check if they're doing all right, see how it's all going. So that is where we're going to go. Down the south of the planet to Medeal. Yeah, so if you remember, Cloud's in a wheelchair and he's totally lost the plot. Doesn't know who anyone is, doesn't know anything. So let's check if his condition's improved. It was due to kind of excessive um, exposure to macro energy. Because he fell, I think he fell into the live stream. Oh. Okay, doesn't seem much better. What number am I? Oh. Okay, let's see if we can get more sense out of Tifa. It's no use. I just I don't understand a thing, Cloud. What should I do? What if you never recover for the rest of your life? Oh. Ah! What was that? They're... They're coming. What did you say? Ah! Damn, what the hell's going on? Let's find out. Oh. Something's going on. What's this? The life stream's gushing up from below the surface of the earth. Damn, that's... This is bad. Sid, what's wrong? Avant, you and Cloud, get inside, quick. But I... Hey, don't worry about a thing. I ain't about to die that easily. Be careful. Okay, here I go. Watch this. Come on. Oh, what's that flying around the sky? Come on, city boy. Damn, that's weapon. Of all the times to show up. Okay then, come on you. Beep. <laughs> oh, it's our first confrontation with one of the weapons. Thankfully, this is one of the easier confrontations that we're going to have with them. So we'll see if one of our guys has got sense. Yeah, there we go, Sid's got it. So I'm going to whack that on. Again, it's I always, as I always say, it's not something that kind of really is a massive help, but it means that um, we can keep track of how much energy he's got and how, oh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> Couldn't sense. Oh well. I think he's got like a hundred thousand energy. Off the top of my head, I think that's what he's got. Which sounds like a hell of a lot, but you know, we're at a stage in the game now where we're doing kind of two or three thousand maybe sometimes per hit. So it, it isn't that crazy. Right. Do we get the Death Gigas out? Yeah, let's go for it. My only concern was that I, I don't think he's like invulnerable to fire attacks. So that's fine. My only concern... This is like the second stage of his um, limit break, actually. You've never seen this one before. 5,200 energy he's got now. Um, yeah, my only concern really was that by doing this, we kind of lose the ability to. Why can't he do enemy skill? We lose the bit. We lose kind of our person that does all the healing. Right. Let's bring out a behemoth. I've probably played this a little bit crazy here <laughs> because I'm now I've lost control of Vincent because he's the the limit break, and Red Thirteen has got his limit break where he just attacks wildly. So I've lost control of him as well now. And I don't think Sid knows how to heal. <laughs> so it's a good job we've got regen on, that's for sure. Hopefully that regen keeps going for the foreseeable. Come on, Behemoth. Unleash. 
Yeah, so this is not the first time, or, or it's not it's not the last time we're going to fight this particular weapon. Because um, we're not going to defeat him here. We're going to give him a bit of a batter, and then he's going to get scared and run away. I think I'm just going to dish out some potions, maybe? I mean, no, I don't want to do it on weapon. God. Hang on. Don't tell me that's it. Oh, wow. Okay. No way did they have 100,000 energy. Okay. That was nice and easy. And obviously, you don't get any experience because we didn't kill him. Whew. Okay. That was a lot easier than I remember. I knew he wasn't that bad, but <laughs> I didn't think it was that easy. You, you're trying to escape? Ah, we could have finished him off, couldn't we, Sid? Right, let's check on how our pals are doing. Hmm. Looks like escape is their best skill. It looks like the live stream's settled as well. Damn, you gotta be kidding. This is bad. The main stream's kicking up. Something way bigger than that last one is on its way. No good. Get out of here. But what about Tifa and Cloud? God damn it. You don't have time to worry about any one of them than yourself. You don't, you don't know when that stream will blow. That's nice, Sid. All for one and one for all and all that. <laughs> Whoa! There's no time. Hurry! Everyone's running around like a maniac. <laughs> don't run in circles. Tifa, Cloud, get out of here! Come on, Tifa. This is bad. The room is like tremors are getting worse. Wait a minute, Cloud. Doctor, shouldn't we move him somewhere rather than stay here? Hmm, it might be safer if we take refuge in a wide open space. Don't you worry about a thing, Cloud. I'll see to it that you get somewhere safe. No, the structure can't take it. Hurry! Yes. Come on, Tifa. Ready, Cloud? We're leaving now. I don't think he knows what's going on. Whoa! That's one hell of an earthquake! Get out of there! Oh, no! Oh, and that glowing green light is the live stream! No! It's like the heart of the planet. And Tifa and Cloud have fallen straight into it. You right, Tifa? Spinning around a bit. Where's Cloud come? Where am I? What's happening? I... Where's Cloud? Cloud, where are you? Wait a minute. I don't know anything about that. No, it's not me. I'd never do anything like that. What's she talking about? No! Stop it! Stay back! Somebody help! Please! Cloud! Help me! Ah! Oh. Sinister music time. Where is she? Where am I? Cloud? What is it, Cloud? What is this? Is this inside of your dreams? Or is it your subconsciousness? You're searching, aren't you, Cloud? Searching for yourself. I can help too. 
We'll work together to try and get the real you back. But where do we start? Right. So this is kind of now inside Cloud's mind. And obviously, you know, as it is now, he's kind of... He's totally lost his mind. He doesn't know who he is. Anything. And we're going to try and help him get his memories back. That starry night at the well. The promise we made that night. What if that memory was all a lie? Right. So these are all different memories that Cloud and Tifa share together. The gates of Nibelheim, five years ago. Sephiroth passed through these gates. And that's how it all started. Where better to begin than at the beginning? It connects to Nibelheim. That's right. It's probably best to start from there. Let's go have a look, Cloud. I know it's not easy, but I'll be right with you. Right. So let's relive that moment, because we've heard Cloud's version of the story, but then Sephiroth told us that that was totally wrong, and that Cloud was never there. Or at least not as a, uh, not as the person he thought he was. It was a guy called Zack, who looks exactly like Cloud, but with darker. Cloud, look. Here's the well. And that's Gramps Inn, too. The only truck in town. It's been here since we were little kids, right? This is the Nibelheim you remember, right? It's the same as my Nibelheim. That's why this place is our Nibelheim. Of course, these are all Cloud's memories, so if it's as Tifa remembers, then we must share that memory together. Five years ago, two men from Soldier came. Sephiroth and a young and vibrant soldier. Can you tell me again what happened? How does it feel? Five years ago, I saw the real Sephiroth for the very first time. It's your first time back to your hometown in a long time, right? So how does it feel? I wouldn't know, because I don't have a hometown. Um, how about your parents? So this is the great Sephiroth. My mother's Genova. She died right after she gave birth to me, my father. But to tell you the truth, I thought he was very cold. What does it matter? Alright, let's go. I remember. I felt a foreboding about him. Ah, so this memory is showing Cloud again. That's not right, is it? Well, not according to Sephiroth, anyway. No, Cloud. I've been hiding it for some time, afraid that if I told you, something terrible might happen. But I'm not going to hide anything anymore. You weren't here. Cloud did not come to Nibelheim five years ago. I waited, but Cloud never came. The two that were ordered here were Sephiroth and another person. So Sephiroth's right. It wasn't us. All right, let's go. And there's Zack. You mean that member of Soldier who came with Sephiroth wasn't Cloud? There's nothing I can say. You must find the answer yourself. If you can't, then you... Take your time, Cloud. Slowly, little by little, okay? So it's our job to kind of work through all these different memories and trying to discover who the real Cloud is. Right, should we try down this way? A sealed up secret wish. Tender feelings that no one can ever know. Okay, let's check out the well memory then. This was one of the first, very first flashbacks in the whole game, actually. I think we did this in maybe episode two. This is when uh, Cloud promised to Tifa that he'd always come back to protect her. That starry night at the well, and our promise that night, 
What if the memory was all just a lie? Don't hurry, Cloud. Don't answer too quickly. Just keep checking all those small emotions and then come back. Slowly, little by little. Right. Like the sky that night. The heavens were filled with stars. Let's relive that moment. What a beautiful sky. From the beginning, okay? Try and remember, Cloud. Right. I was wearing these clothes. That's you too. You were so small then. And cute. Why, thank you. Sephiroth once said, Cloud made up his memories by listening to my stories. Did you imagine this sky? No, you, you remembered it. That night, the stars were gorgeous. It was just Cloud and I. We talked at the well. That's why I continued to believe that you were the real Cloud. I still believe you're the Cloud from Nibelheim. But you don't believe in yourself. These memories aren't enough. Yeah, see, these memories aren't enough to prove that who we are. We don't know if we're kind of faking based on, you know, because of what Tifa's memories are or what. Cloud, what about your other memories? No, not memories. A memory is something that has to be consciously recalled, right? That's why sometimes it can be mistaken and a different thing. But it's different from a memory, locked deep within your heart. That's why it must be a fake. If he could recall up that memory. That's it. What about some memory that has to do with me? I say something and you don't remember it. But you say something and I remember it too. That, then we'll know that that's our memory. Talk to me about anything. Some important memory to you. Now that you mention it, why did you want to join Soldier in the first place? I just thought it was a sudden decision you made. I was devastated. I wanted to be noticed. I thought if I got stronger I could get someone to notice. Someone to notice you? Who? Who? You know who. You, that's who. You. Me? Why? Tifa, did you forget about those days? Look, I... I'm sorry, what are you talking about? No, it's, it's all right. You were having a hard time back then. You were so busy with your own things. It's only natural you don't remember me back then. Back then? It's important to me. I hate to say it, but it's a very important memory. Do you want to see it? Do you know where this window goes to, Tifa? Fine, I'll go. Do you recognize this room? <laughs> You'd be doing well to recognize it, to be fair. Maybe now you do. At the piano. It's Tifa's room. My room? It was my first time there. Was it? I only used to look up at it from the outside. Hey, look! Cloud's coming! You think he wants to come in? Is that the first day you came into my room? That's right. We live next door to each other. But I really didn't know you that well. 
I've known you since we were children and always thought we were close. Now that you mention it, I don't recall you ever being in my room. Tifa always used to be with the, this threesome. That's right. I used to think they were all so stupid. What? You were all childish, laughing at every little stupid thing. But we were children back then. I know. I'm the one that was stupid. I really wanted to play with everyone, but I was never allowed into the group. Then later, I began to think I was different. That I was different from those immature kids. But then, maybe. So all this was to impress... Well, he only wanted to join soldier to impress Tifa. Just maybe they'd invite me in. I thought that might happen, so I hung around. I was so prejudiced and weak. That night, I called Tifa out to the well. I thought to myself Tifa would never come, that she hated me. Yeah, it was so sudden, I was a bit surprised. But... It's true that we weren't that close, but... After you left town, I really thought about you a lot. I used to wonder how Cloud was doing. I wonder if Cloud was able to get into Soldier. I started reading the newspapers thinking that there might be an article about you. Thanks, Tifa. Tell him what you told me later. He'll probably be so happy. Okay. So at the moment, <laughs> Tifa's talking to kind of child cloud. Huh? What happened on this day? Was it a special day? This was the day. What day? Tifa's mother. The day mum died. I want to see my mum. I wonder if there's anything behind beyond that mountain. Mount Nibble's scary. Many people have died there. No one crosses that mountain alive. How about those that died? Did Mama pass through the mountains? Oh, well one lad's too scared to go and help her. They really need to drag her back to the village. Oh, there's Cloud. Come on, Cloud. Oh, we caught up quick. Oh, that's nice. They're, <laughs> they're just leaving her behind now. Looks like it's just me and Tifa. I don't remember the path I walked. Tifa missed her step. I ran to her but didn't make it in time. Both of us fell off the cliff. Back then I only scarred my knees but... Cloud, why'd you bring Tifa to a place like this? What the hell's the matter with you? What if she dies? Cloud getting the blame again. Tifa was in a coma for seven days. We all thought she wouldn't make it. If only I could have saved her. I was so angry. Angry at myself for my weakness. Ever since then, I felt Tifa blamed me. I got out of control. I'd get into fights, not even caring who it was. That was the first time I heard about Sephiroth. If I got strong like Sephiroth, then everyone might. If I could just get stronger, 
and even Tifa would have to notice me. So that was it? Sorry, Cloud. If I'd only remembered more clearly what happened, I could have done something sooner. It's not your fault, Tifa. But I remember back when we were eight. That's it. Now I know. You weren't created five years ago. My childhood memories weren't all made up. Hang in there, Cloud. Just a little longer. You've almost found the real you. Let's go back to Nibelheim again. Ooh, that was a bit weird. <laughs> right, let's head back to Nibelheim. See if we can finally crack this mystery. Cloud, wait! Where are you going? The reactor. To the reactor. The Maca reactor of five years ago. Oh, of course. The moment where Sephiroth slices Tifa. How she didn't die there, I'll never know. Maybe we'll find out. Oh, see. It wasn't Cloud that helped her, it was Zack. Hey, it's Cloud. Zack? You remembered. That's right. It was Zack who came to Nibelheim with Sephiroth. Then, where were you, Cloud? Uh. So it was Zack. That would explain things. So Zack had the fight. And maybe Zack did get killed. And that's why we're still alive. Because we never did have that fight with Sephiroth. Cloud, did you see it all? I saw everything. Ooh. Maybe we both had a fight with Sephiroth. Ooh. Ah, who, who are you? Mom, Tifa, my town, give it back. I had so much respect for you. I admired you. Wow, so we were just a regular, regular soldier. Just a Shinra troop. We charged in and killed Zephyroth? Cloud? That's what happened. You were there. You were watching me. Yeah, I remember. Hmm. So it was you. Hey Cloud, if you're feeling sick, why don't you take that mask off? Yeah. So I was the one who was really travel sick. I wasn't the guy who was kind of all cool and helping out. I never made it as a member of Soldier. I even left my hometown telling everyone I was going to join, but... I was so embarrassed, I didn't want to see anybody. So he never made the cut. But he was at Nibelheim all along, five years ago. He just wasn't the one, just wasn't the one we thought he was. How does it feel? 
It's your first time back to your home time in a long time, right? So, that conversation happened. It's just that Sephiroth was talking to the kind of the regular Shinra guy, not the one who we thought was Cloud. I'm... You came. You kept your promise. So you really did come when I was in trouble. Sorry. I didn't get there fast enough. It's alright, Cloud. Oh, he's not quite dead yet. Just like you. And is that Genova he's taken with him? Or a piece of Genova? A piece of his mother. Cloud! Kill Sephiroth! It's a bit of a big ask, isn't he? Sephiroth's supposed to be like a legend. Sending some guy who couldn't even make it into soldier after him. Sephiroth! <laughs> Don't push your luck. Oh, that looks quite painful. Ouch. Oh, give it a little wiggle. <laughs> what? It can't be. What the hell? Oh. Take that, Sephiroth. He was no match for us. How the hell were we capable of doing that? Now, we learned a few episodes ago that all this time Sephiroth has really been dead. It's not been Sephiroth that's been chasing us. It's essentially been a piece of Genova that's kind of taken on the form of Sephiroth. Cloud! So that must have been when Sephiroth died. Then, this is goodbye, Tifa. Until we meet again. This is it. All of Cloud's memories are coming together. And he's starting to kind of remember who he truly is. Is this the final piece of the jigsaw puzzle? Oh, what's he doing? Cloud! Oh. God, that's like a really old school computer game sound effect that is. Tifa. Oh, Cloud. It really is you, isn't it? Yeah, Tifa. We finally beat again. You stupid Jack. You had us all worried sick. Uh! Cloud? Are you alright? Voice. 
Uh, I see. We're in the live stream, aren't we? Everyone's waiting. Let's go back, Cloud. Back to everyone. Yeah, I guess so. Come on, Tifa. Let's go home. Floating back up the live stream. There we are, washed ashore. Yo, you alright, Tifa? Uh, uh. Barrett, you came back. I. Cloud, where is he? Don't worry about him. He's a tough one. Barrett, I... When I was in the live stream, I saw the real Cloud. I mean, I didn't really find him. Cloud found himself on his own. Alright, I know, I shouldn't have doubted him. But I can't win against you. You're some kind of lady. People have so many things pent up inside of themselves. And they can forget so many things. Strange, isn't it? Yo, Tifa, snap out of it! Tifa? Everyone, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything, Cloud. All you've been doing is apologizing. I never was in Soldier. I made up the stories about what happened to me five years ago about being in Soldier. I left my village looking for glory, but never made it into Soldier. I was so ashamed of being so weak. Then I heard this story from my friend Zack, and I created an illusion of myself, made up of what I'd seen in my life. And I continued to play the charade as if it were true. Illusion, huh? Pretty damn strong for an illusion, I'd say. Yeah, I mean, we still are a pretty tough guy. I'm physically built like someone in Soldier. Hojo's plan was to clone Sephiroth. Ho Hojo's plan to clone Sephiroth wasn't that difficult. It was just the same procedure they use when creating members of Soldier. You see, someone in Soldier isn't simply exposed to Mako energy. Their bodies are actually injected with Genova cells. For better or worse, only the strong can enter Soldier. It has nothing to do with the Genova reunion. But weak people, like me, get lost in the whole thing. The combination of Genova cells, Sephiroth's strong will, and my own weakness are what created me. Everyone knew that. I'm Cloud. The master of my own illusionary world. But I can't remain trapped in an illusion anymore. I'm going to live my life without pretending. You sure messed up, Cloud. <laughs> Cheers. That means there ain't no difference than before. By the way, Cloud, what are you going to do now? Don't tell me you're going to leave the ship. I'm the reason why Meteor was fallen towards us. That's why I have to do everything in my power to fight this thing. Good. Then you're going to keep fighting to save the planet? It's like you always told me, Barrett. Oh, you mean that? What? I don't understand. There ain't no getting off of this train we're on. Hey! The crew is all back together and Cloud is back fighting fit again. And he knows who he truly is. So, there's going to be a bit of shuffling around of the team members. Aye, Captain. Cloud, I was deeply moved by your story. I'm really a weak person, and so I could really understand how you feel, Cloud. No one knows when fighting will begin, but let's get ready. Right, so there's going to be a lot of shuffling around of team members. Of course, we're going to be back to our classic Red 13, Vincent and Cloud, just as you voted for. I will shuffle around the materia later off camera. Ah, uh, it's good to have that music back. You're pumped and ready to go again. Listen, Cloud. 
We're right in the middle of a mission for the huge materia, right? I know this thing is kind of out of the blue, but there's an underwater reactor at Juno. As far as I can see, that's the only one left. That's that. Let's go. Right. So, he knows of the next materia. Or the next huge materia, which is with the underwater reactor at Junon. Except I have a little something of my own planned. So next episode, we're actually going to do what is going to be a mammoth undertaking for me. I am going to, next episode, show you exactly how to get a golden chocobo. So... Thankfully, through the magic of editing, it's going to be quite short and concise and it's going to show you exactly how to do it and then get how to find all the materia caves, which only a chocobo can reach. Um, so we'll do that next episode. It's going to take me a very long time to record, but it'll be all lovely and neat and packaged up beautifully for you. So we're going to leave that there for today and next time I am going to show you step by step how to get a golden chocobo. So don't miss it. Thanks for watching today, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello, it's... You. Oh, really thought I was going to do it first time for a change.